Joining me now, Dr. Charles Krauthammer, syndicated columnist and Fox News contributor. Charles, great to see you. So first, let's just start with, separate and apart from that exchange, your overall thoughts on how the debate went. Well, unfortunately, the big loser was the moderator. I don't envy her position, but she lost control of the debate very early. The candidates were talking over each other. And this is a pet to peeve I have with all moderators, not just uh, this one, although it was worse than this one. You know, towards the end, you were getting really good exchanges of the kind where they were going at each other, quite revealing. And she would say, we have to stop and go on to another subject. To which I would say, why? Who cares about hitting mm -hmm. all the points and all? At one point, I was watching some other f folks who burst out laughing when she said, yes, but we were going to talk about North Korea. Well, that's less interesting than talking about their, at the top of the ticket. Look, I thought in the end it obviously didn't move the needle because they, they were each trying to do something completely different and to some extent succeeded. Kane was trying to spread a little nuclear, well, I wouldn't call them nuclear, conventional explosives all over the place by mentioning all the misstatements, outrageous statements that Trump had said. And it's clear that Pence had made a decision not to go down the rabbit hole on every one of these, because otherwise he never would have talked about anything else. But it did make him look defensive. And I didn't do a content analysis, but I would guess that most of the time it was spent defending, or at least with the Pence-Trump team, on the defense. What Kane tried to do was simply to say, this guy is unreliable, that this guy has the wrong temperament. But Pence's strategy, and I thought he won on tone, it was always calm and collected. It was a kind of Reagan saying to Carter, there you go again, was to simply say, well, perhaps my guy has made misstatements, but your candidate and her people have been in charge for eight years and in a larger sense for 30 years. And look where we are. Look at the state of the world. And that's what he concentrated on. What he has said, that's what uh, Kane was talking about. But what Pence talked about is what she had done and not done. And I thought on that, enumerating, for example, the failures with Russia, he did very well. What do you make of the, the notion that Trump could be, that, that his, the questions about his temperament can be answered or at least assuaged by this calm, cool, collected running mate? I think to some extent, if you've got a very hot candidate, what you want is a cool number two. You want something to say, well, there's, you know, for example, if Trump had chosen Newt Gingrich, uh, I think he said they were both pirates. And you, you don't want a two-pirate ticket. You want one guy to be the pirate and the other guy to be the justice of the peace or perhaps even a minister. And, and, and to some extent, Pence presented himself sort of like a minister. Reasoned, reasonable, very serious answer, I thought, at the, the, the very end on the question of religion. So I think that helps the ticket to whatever extent the vice president can. Unfortunately, he or she usually doesn't. What did you make of the fact that Trump was tweeting <laughs> during the debate calling Tim Kaine names? That means that the Trump campaign has not succeeded in taking away his cell phone. And that, that remains like <laughs> job number one for Kellyanne and the rest of the gang. It was harmless, at least the ones you, you showed on the screen, but uh, he has shown in the last week that he can tweet in a way that can be very harmful to him, and uh, I don't think he ought to be allowed near one. You know, I think uh, he's, he's following the old, I gotta be me. And, well, that's, uh, it's, that's it's, gonna earn me one choice. That that's gonna earn me at least one choice tweet from Donald, I suspect. <laughs> I think I've already received mine tonight. He was just letting me know that Kellyanne was here in the audience and he was out in Nevada and nobody was watching his thumbs. And that became apparent soon thereafter. Charles, great to see you. My pleasure.